and welcome to the another episode of Beyond the Score podcast where we at Khel Now speak with the newsmaker in the Indian sports and Indian football especially I am your host Ashish Negi uh, this is I always say is you know a special episode a special episode I think this is the special episode and uh, these podcasts have been not as frequent as I wanted it but you know I think today's guest is another reason to do the podcast like these and I am joined by a very young handsome boy uh, from europe uh, who is just 18 year old india junior international som kumar and this is the one of those podcast episode which has been requested by many indian football fans they wanted to know what is a 18 year old boy doing in country in south slovenia you know playing there is he, is he playing is he training and how did he went there what is his story so just to give in a background bits on som before we go to som and ask him about you know what he has been doing right now som was part of the india under 17 team who qualify for the afc under 17 world cup in 2019 uh, 2020 cycle you know basically the covid cycle which asia cup uh, got uh, i think postponed and uh, you know and one of the unluckiest one not to play and uh, he also won the saf under 20 championship for india where he was awarded a best goalkeeper in the championship so come from bangalore and of course have a sporting background at his home also mom and uh, father both were in the sports in past so that of course have motivated and helped him to do something which not many 18 year old indian boys in indian football does that's go out and challenge themselves so i just want to say thank you very much for taking out time from your busy training schedule i know it's have been very hectic for you training with two teams under 19 senior team so it's always tough thank you very much and welcome to the show uh no problem no problem i'm very happy to to be here and uh, so let's let's you know before i of course we can go and ask so many things but i'll straight away ask uh, where this motivation has come for you to go and challenge yourself in very different moment because to be you know to be precise i am in touch with lots of indian young indian boys so when they play for indian under 17 or under 18 team straight away they gets a call from xyz isl club three year deal four year deal this this money and they always on that loop of you know in the isl and the uh, uh, now isl clubs that changing one club to another struggling for period time what motivated you to do something very different compared to your peers or the other players around you um i think at the moment uh, i'm completely focused on uh, improving my game um and a lot of the coaches that i spoke with in india um said that uh, i can compete with players in europe uh, and for me right now um money or playing for a club in india is is not important the most important thing for me is uh, just making progress uh and getting better every day so uh, that's all that i'm focusing on now and um i think europe is the place for for uh, football and now let's let's goes back in the you know in a childhood how did your love for football started you know and uh, when did you started liking football oh uh, so i was really young i i started kicking the ball when i was uh, just 2 years old um my older brother um was also a player but uh, unfortunately he couldn't make it uh, um to a professional club because uh, football wasn't so developed in india back then but um he's 10 years older than me so he was a outfield player and um he would basically force me to go in goal and that that's how it started and it, it hasn't changed since then and uh, you know and when did you thought of course you started too and i'm sure your elder brother needed somebody to maybe stops his kicks and everything in while he is playing back at, at anywhere he wanted so when did you thought that you know uh, okay i want to play football you know matlab like want to play for a club or you know want to play for india when did it started that you want to play football seriously um so at this uh, at the age of 6 i i joined a team uh, in bangalore uh, that's when i started getting coaching and um, i really enjoyed it i was uh, i was really shy as a uh, when i was younger and um football um was one way where i connected with people so that was um that was how i um that's how that was my way of doing things uh, especially when i was younger so 
that's that's how I started training at the age of uh, six, and then when I was thirteen, I I started thinking that I can I can play um, professionally. And uh, then, so you know, you can can you tell about the club name which you started playing? It's important for those clubs to get also recognition for your journey, Italy. Um, I started training with the BSC under under twelve when I was uh, six seven. Uh, my older brother actually used to play for BSC under nineteen, and um, I I went along with him and I used to train with the with the younger kids over there. And and is it what's the reason behind the goalkeeper? So is it just because your brother needs somebody to stop his penalty kicks, or that, or you eventually you know wanted to be a goalkeeper only? Uh, I always wanted to be a goalkeeper, so uh, he would force me to 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 go in goal, and uh, it was very competitive, and uh, we would always watch a lot of football. So uh, whenever we would watch games of big teams in big leagues. Uh, I would always observe the the goalkeepers and I would try to um, pick up things that they would do in the game and then try and recreate it uh, when I would play with my older brother. And uh, when, to, when you went to BFC under 13, under 12s, you know, did you at that time only thought that you want to play football professionally? Uh, yeah, I've always had the uh, mindset that I can uh, play professionally. So... That was that was just the start for me. And uh, so, I just want to know what is your height now? Uh, I'm six foot three. So is it uh, that's the reason you always put in the uh, you know higher age group instead of your own age group while you playing youth football in India? Um, I think I definitely had an advantage with my height, but uh, I also had to focus a lot on uh, on technique because I couldn't. Uh, rely on strength because I was always playing with guys older than me so they would always be bigger and stronger but uh, I, I I was um, I was always tall which uh, which was really helpful and I think is still a big asset for me and you know you touch upon your brother influence let me also ask what were your role your mother and father have played uh, to get you here right now, where you right now, you know what that they have done. How was their support, you know, and uh, how much influence they have been into your career till now? Um, they, I mean, I I wouldn't be here without them, uh, and they they've also uh, been involved with sport. They they also played badminton at a very high level, so uh, they know the values that uh, sport teach you uh, teaches you, like. Um, hard work, uh, discipline, and uh, um, being respectful. So ever since I was young, they um, they taught me these values and uh, that's something that I live by. And uh, what next happened? You know, you were training with Bangalore FC. Then what was the next step you took in your life, you know, uh, after the under-13 team from Bangalore? Um, then there was the Boca Juniors, which was a franchise in in Bangalore uh, and uh, they actually needed a goalkeeper for just one tournament which was another under 13 tournament in in Dubai and they didn't have a goalkeeper I mean there are not many kids who want to be goalkeepers so they didn't have a goalkeeper and um, the one I think the owner of the academy uh, found out about me and uh, he asked if I can just come for this uh, tournament just to play this tournament then I can go back to BFC uh, and they actually got in a Greek coach at the time who I was training with up until the tournament in Dubai and um, I did really well in in Dubai in the tournament and um, I was really happy with the with the training from the Greek coach and um, I stuck in that academy for another three years uh, um, and I was just training every day with the coach from Greece, and um, he he helped me take uh, he helped me to reach another level uh, um, and uh, set me up for things in in Europe. So so then you stayed with Boca Juniors after the tournament. Oh uh, yeah, I stayed with Boca Juniors for three years almost. Three years, and then of course you went to the different exposure tour with them. Also, I'm told. 
uh, it wasn't with Boca Juniors. Uh, I then played. Uh, then the Greek coach actually moved to another academy uh, in Bangalore, uh, which was BYFL. Uh, and then um, after that, I was with BYFL for a year, where we played the I League, and um, we made it to the semi-finals of the Under 13 I League, and we we lost on penalties to Reliance, who went on to uh, win the to win the league. So that was um, a year with BYFL, and then after that, I started looking at um, moving abroad to Slovenia. And uh, in between, also you got selected for the Indian national team, right? Under seventeen team. After the I League, only got selected for under seventeen team. Um, I actually played the state championship uh, with uh, Karnataka, and right after that, I was called to the to the under seventeen. Okay, and 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 how was that experience? You know, to receive your India call up because at any level to play for India is you know you know is a prou- it's a proud feeling. So how was that when you get to know that you have you have got a call up for India under seventeen team? Uh, it was it was great. I mean, everyone dreams to be playing for the country. So when I got the call up, um, it was just a trial that they were. It was a two week trial that they were asking me to come for. So and I was fourteen at the time. So again, I was playing with guys a lot older than me, and I had no expectations to to get into the team. It was I was just trying to gain as much experience as I could with uh, the best coaches in India. So, yeah. And just to put in a perspective, so which year it was when you got that first call up? Um, I got the call up in Jan of twenty twenty. And you and then you got selected to the final team uh, of uh, you know of Bibiano Fernandez Indian Under Seventeen team, uh, which played in the AFC Under Seventeen qualifiers. So uh, let me come. You know, I I'm, I'm I know Bibiano personally very well. How was your experience of playing with Bibiano Fernandez under him? Um, I think he's um, from all the coaches that I've trained with in. in india i think he's one of the best coaches and he's one of the closest to the coaches in europe um the way he the way he trains his players and the attitude that he has is uh, really really amazing and i think he's helping uh, the youth a lot in in india to develop players so it was really unfortunate that we couldn't play afc because of covid but i think that team would have uh, really really done well and you know uh, it there's another question who was a goalkeeping coach at that time uh, so uh, felix uh, de souza and 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 i felix uh, have been doing also a fantastic job you know uh, not just with you guys there another crop of goalkeepers which are coming because i was with this indian under 17 team in germany when they went for the german tour Uh, with our partnership with Bundesliga, and you know the German coaches, they were surprised by the level of Indian goalkeepers. You know, with the under seventeen team, and they told me one thing. You know, uh, that these goalkeepers look good. You know, compared to what they have, you know, uh, at you know at at their home in 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 Bundesliga under seventeen level. So so so, do you think that the goal India will keep on producing good goalkeepers? I don't know how, but we have always, always India have the good goalkeepers. Do you think any reason behind it? Um, I I think especially in the youth, uh, Felix, uh, he's uh, doing a great job. Uh, when I was with him, he was he was really hard on me, but um, he did it with uh, only the intention to to help me get better. And uh, the training was really really intense, and. Uh, I saw a big improvement in my game when I tra- uh, trained with him. I trained with him for I think four four months, and uh, the impact that he had on me was uh, really amazing. The he would help me prepare for the games, uh, not just physically, but he would give me mental advice as well, because he was also a goalkeeper. Uh, and uh, right before AFC, he he was really pushing us and. Um, he really prepared us well for the for the tournament but unfortunately again we couldn't we couldn't play the tournament but so did uh, you didn't play any qualifiers right uh, did you play any qualifiers for that in which india played against turkmenistan 
Bahrain and all. Did you play any games? Started any game in that? Uh, qual- I wasn't. I, they didn't. No, no, they didn't call me um, for for the qualifiers. I was called. You were called up for the final for the championship, after the right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. So so and at that time, I'm sure you, sh- you should be around 15. Yeah, I, I had just turned 15 at the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think I think it's a great expect. Uh, and then of course. uh you played uh the saf championship also i think after this uh yeah that was a bit later that was just last year uh, less than okay. a year back so in between you moved to europe so let let come to the europe because i have i have been always talking to felix and the you know and they told me that uh, they always tell their player that go and improve yourself you know it, if you can improve in india you can improve in india but if you want to go and imp- really really want to get improve you should go to the europe so is that also you started feeling that you you need to go to europe to improve yourself um my goal ever since i was young was um to play in europe but um when i when i joined the camp um i did have a personal talk with felix uh, uh, after the uh after we got to know that the AFC championships were cancelled uh and he spoke to me and he said that you know it's best for you to go to europe so uh after that it was just clear in my head that i need to move out of india and move to europe and try and improve my game and then how did you achieve this you know when you thought about moving to europe i know that you are in touch with or you are say the people who are around you are very good people because not many indian agents i will say and of course the, the the guy is not the satya is not the agent by the way he is more of helping player or people to achieve in their career how did that thing happen and why you know country like solven where you went to solvenia you know what was the reason behind that um so satya uh, actually i've been working with him um before uh, i played the i league and after my performance in i league and the state championship he felt that i was ready to to move abroad um and um he got he put me in touch with uh um uh agents over here um the group is called uh, lnf management so when i came here i was part of a a team called nk bravo which is another slovenian club uh I, w- i didn't actually play a single game as a registered player for for them so i went on a tournament with them to italy um where there were teams from all over europe that were playing um and after that we we had a game against um a serie a team uh, bologna and the um, the game was a one all draw and it went to a penalty shootout and i saved three penalties and we won the game and the coaches were really happy and they were a bit surprised that because i don't think they had seen anyone from india and especially a goalkeeper so they were really happy with me and they were willing to take me on so i eventually moved there but then there was covid which came so uh i had to delay my move to slovenia uh until the covid restrictions um uh were lighter and and nk bravo it's more of a training street for them right you were training with them playing friendly games so nothing official you know you it just keep yourself uh calendarized with the you know weather or the game in the in the europe or in, in slovenia yeah there was there was there was a there was it was mainly training but um satya uh, did a lot of research and there were a lot of uh, different places that i could go to but uh, slovenia has a record of producing a lot of good goalkeepers um the style of goalkeeping that they teach over here is very different uh, and it was new to me so that was the role that satya played in helping me move here and then you uh, went to the nk uh, uh, K R K Karaka, how they do Karaka? Karaka, they Karaka, Karaka. So uh, yeah, yeah. So after Bravo, you went to them. Uh, yeah. So initially, it was um, Karaka. Were, they didn't have a goalkeeper, and it was their first season. They they were a newly uh, promoted team, so it was their first season in the in the first division, and they needed a goalkeeper. So we 
took a call and within a span of 3 days i was loaned to this club and they said they'll give me all the match time uh and that's what i needed because uh, official matches would would help my experience and that season was i was playing under 17 at the time and it was the first time that Gorkha were playing in the first division and so for, we yeah yeah so first Go division ahead. of which which league the which age group they were playing under 17 or the uh, the first division of under 17 okay okay go ahead please yeah so we we played 26 games and we our goal was to um stay in the league and not get relegated but um we ended up doing really well and we finished in third we actually missed the league by just four points uh missed winning the league by four points it was a really competitive league and um it was a great experience for me and uh, then it was just one year loan with them right you then you came back to the bravo again uh no i uh it was a six month loan and then we decided to get a full transfer to to nk kolkata okay and then uh, then you played one more season with them at the under 17 level uh no i pl- then i moved up to the under 19 but i was shuffling back and forth with uh with the national team for saf and afc so okay. i didn't i didn't play any games with with the under 19 team and then of course the saf happened and you won the saf championship under uh, uh, former indian assist in senior team assistant coach venki bhai and uh, you were awarded best goalkeeping so did your game change from your last india camp when you were the under 16 and 17 team to under 19 team how was that you know when you came back did you feel more confident as a player uh yeah definitely i i had i think uh 26 official games under my belt and i had um, i think uh 20 more friendlies which we played against uh, we played teams against croatia which you i mean everyone has seen how well uh, croatia did in the world cup so it was great experience for me and um the pressure that i uh, got during the the league matches was uh different because when i was in india uh, with the national team we were only playing friendlies and when you play official matches the the this it's obviously different because of the pressure you have to win the games you have to get the three points so it was different and when i came back um for saf it was actually my first official tournament with the national team so dealing with the pressure in saf was um it happened naturally for me because i'd already been playing games under pressure um in the under 17 over here and uh, just to give our viewers and the listeners a reference that you know uh, som signed for uh, the the nk olympia after that nk olympia is right now in in solvania top, top league they are the one of the most successful team they won three league titles you know uh, first came in 2015 16 season second came in 17 18 and third they they just won with the season which got finished which is 22 23 then they also they are uh, three uh, three times uh, runner up in the period and the 18 19 they was a runner up 11 12 and 12 13 so in the last 10 years or so they are one of the most successful slovenia club and in togo de slovenia cup also they have won 17 18 18 19 20 21 and 20 23 so the season we just finished they have you know done the uh, league double uh, the domestic double and i think that's tell you about the level of the club which currently som is playing for and so i think they are in the uh, should be in champions league qualifiers i think the first round they're playing against uh, a club from uh, latvania i think yeah yeah, La- yeah. latvia yeah. valmeria fc so uh, you are now what you are doing with them right now are you part of under 19 setup are you part of the senior team setup just let because i know you have told me off the camera but just for the viewers and the fans of the indian football also know um so i joined olympia in in um jan uh, i actually we actually played them when i was in we played them twice uh, in the league when i was in nk kolkata um and we beat them twice uh we were underdogs i mean olympia's the biggest club in slovenia uh and uh, in jan i moved to i moved to olympia i moved to the under 19 team uh 
uh, and towards the uh, end of the season, I played um, I played six games, um, and I did really well. I got I had I think four clean sheets in the six games, and we won all the six games. So um, to start the new season, I got called up to the to the first team um, for the training uh, and the preparation for the new season and the Champions League qualifiers. Um, and I'm also with the with the U19, where I play where I play the matches, uh, the league matches for the U19. So, so just people to know, uh, you know, this thing happened a lot in Europe. The young many youngsters which club feel have potential to play for the first team, they regularly train with the senior teams. You know, uh, because senior team always need extra player to train. You know, goalkeepers or the off field players. And in the during the weekends, uh, Saturdays or Sundays, they go back to their you know age group team like under 19 or under 23 team to get a game time because they feel whatever they're doing in the training pitch that's fine but they need to play regularly on the uh, you know on the youth level or the whatever level they're fit in so that's what you're doing so right now because you're shuffling between 19 the seniors you're training with the seniors and then going back to the weekends to play with the under 19s yes the, 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 that's what i'm doing right now so i train uh, the entire preseason was uh, with the first team. The preseason actually started earlier for the first team because of the Champions League uh, qualifiers, which is uh, next weekend. So um, I started the the preseason with the first team, which was a really amazing experience for me to play with uh, some of the top players in the country. And 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 what's the level of the senior team? Because as an Indian, what do you think? You know, you have seen. Lots of uh, football back home. What's the level of they are playing the Champions League? It's qualifiers, I know, but they're playing the Champions League. How much you feel is the difference between your age group training and the uh, practice to their senior team and what they're doing right now? Um, so the first team is uh, uh, at the moment I'm I'm adapting to the to the quality of the. I still need to adapt to the quality of the of the first team because. Um, the pace of the game is a lot higher, and it's the first time that I'm playing with uh, a first team and fully grown players. Um, but um, it helps me when I play with the U19 because um, the pace is slightly more um, lower with the U19 because everyone is younger, obviously. So playing with the first team is an uh, unreal experience. I mean, some of these players. I haven't seen uh, anyone in India play play the way uh, the players do over here, and the shots, the passes, everything is so much stronger. So it's a great experience for me. And 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 you know when you go back to under nineteen games, uh, does game feel easy for you because you know you're training at a different level? Um, it does. Yeah, well, it is obviously. The, the, they are saying so right. You can sweat more in training so that you can bleed less in the battle. So does it feel like that? That you know you're sweating more in the training and actually play under 19 games. You can feel that you know you are maybe you know. I'm not saying it's easy, but you know you you might feel that you know okay I've trained harder than this than actually game is going on. Um, when uh, it it is easier naturally because I'm used to a faster pace. Uh, game when I'm playing with the first team, but when I come back to the U19, uh, I can't take it lightly. So, um, as long as I'm well prepared, um, uh, it is it is helpful. And playing with the U19 is uh, is it's also very competitive and it's very hard. Uh, there, I'm not the only one from the U19 who is with the first team. So there are other players who. Who are also experiencing the same thing, uh, the same thing. So um, it is naturally easier, but uh, I can't take it uh, lightly. Yeah, I'm just joking, so don't worry. And then, uh, what about the goalkeeping coaches there in the in the at the club under 19, the senior team? You know how much they are different. How much they are helping you right now? Um. So with the U19, um, uh, the goalkeeping coach, his name is Andre, and he's been in the club for a really long time. Uh, he's actually trained uh, Jan Oblak and uh, Samir Handanovic, who are who are two of the greatest goalkeepers, you arguably you can say. Um, so the the technique that they teach over here is uh, is very different from what they teach in India. So 
the exposure that I'm getting over here with him is is um, you can't replace it. And 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 you know also uh, because it's not just about the goalkeeping. I just want to also know what about this uh, the domestic football. You know how competitive is it? What kind of uh, football atmosphere is there? Fan engagement? How, how the fans and everything? You know in in Slovenia compared to the say, say India for example. Um. So in over here it's it's a lot different. The they have all class what they what yeah. they call in Europe. Uh, they are violent fans, and it changes the uh, atmosphere of the game completely. Um, so, whenever I watch the first team play, it's it's the atmosphere is amazing. So, yeah. And and you know, uh, also one more thing that now let's come to the difficult part. You know, how did uh, you were not tempted by the approach from ISL team? You know, uh, because. I'm. I'm. That's what I also want to know personally because I've been talked to lots of footballers at the at your age groups, you know, who are 15, 16, 17, and they always, you know, lure by the approach made by these ISL team. How did you kept those approaches away from you? Um. At the moment, I think uh, the progress that I'm making over here in Slovenia is is really really helpful for my career. Um. The training that I'm getting is. Is amazing, but um, I did get the chance to go uh, in early Jan to a ISL club uh, and train with the first team in in the club. Um, I got to even watch one of the games and then train with the team. So that was a good experience for me, uh, just to see how an ISL club works. And uh, they offered me a contract, but uh, uh, it's nothing that I have against the club or the ISL, but um, at the moment, I think uh, my focus is to stay in Europe and uh, train in Europe. You should. I think uh, maybe you should change your I'll say in Hindi, but maybe you should Indian number so those approaches are less. You know, I'm just on a funny side. So, yeah. Uh, uh, so, also, uh, of course, there are lots of pros of playing in Europe. And, you know, I have, I have chatted with Gurpreet a lot but there are lots of cons also, right? Like the food, the, the away from family, living alone. How do you handling this kind of situation with you? Because you're just 18, you know, and uh, and back time when Gurpreet went to Norway, he was 25, 26, so he's still, you know, a grown, grown up guy, but you're 18, so how are you managing that? Um. So I don't think there are any cons, you could say, um, with the training and with the, with the games, because- But it's outside um, though, right? More of the pitch. Um, off the pitch, I think it is hard staying away from from home. I I grew up in India, um, but as long as I have uh, training and as long as I have matches, uh, that's where my focus is. So I don't try to think too much about um, missing home or missing uh, my family. So uh, food is not too much of an issue for me. Um, I'm quite flexible with that. I actually. I have a trainer uh, who I'm working with, with my strength and conditioning, uh, and his wife is also a nutritionist. So um, my food is taken care of, and um, my physical conditioning is taken care of. So uh, the setup over here is uh, is really unbelievable. Uh, I'm fully uh, blessed and grateful to have this, but at the same time, I'm not going to take this for for granted. So let's let's get some quick uh, rapid fire questions which I want to ask you know to get you know better. What is your favorite pastime when you're not playing football? Um, reading video games, art, uh, and going for walks. Uh, so of course you told reading, but reading books or watching movie? I'm sure you're going to pick reading books. Uh yeah, definitely reading books. I'm I'm not a person who likes to watch movies. And that's good. So, uh, of course, we talked about lots of football, football, football. How do you managing your academics back there? Are you in an English school? Uh, you know, um, how, do you, how do you coping with so, that? So, I'm doing my school online, um, and I've I'm doing my twelfth now. So, it's hard to manage uh, studies. I wake up at five to study. Uh, I'm doing my tu- uh, tuitions online with a, a person in in Bangalore who's helping with me um, who's helping me uh, for the last since, ever since I've 
I've started school. So um, I wake up early in the morning and I try to do as much studies as I can in in my free time. But it's important, right? Do you feel as a as a young footballer? I know sometimes uh, at players that age will say, oh, "Why I need to study? You know, I'm going to be a footballer." There are enough people I can, you know, later on hire. But I, why do I want to study? But do you feel it's important as a young player to keep your academics on a check also? Oh uh, yeah, I think um, definitely uh, being educated uh, is really important for me, um, and uh, I know that my teammates. Uh, in the national team who are playing in ISL aren't doing school um but uh, i'm trying to uh, prioritize this because um it's it's important for me to to get a good ed- uh, education yeah and and who are your ro- role models uh, so what do you feel who are the role models for you um football wise or yeah i can give anything football or life wise also um so i look up to um Ederson um he's my role model and um the way he plays he's a really modern goalkeeper and i try to base my game similar to the way he plays so he's um, my role model and non football wise if you have any um i look at uh, a lot of the great athletes um who have achieved a lot of good stuff in in sport because uh, what i'm trying to do is is not easy so um any of the top athletes because um looking for advice is not easy because no one has done taken this path before so i don't have anyone to to look uh, to look to for advice so any of the top athletes who have who've been through a lot in sport is is definitely an inspiration to me and and now you know so you're still 18 still learning your trade but what do you think do you want to be a first indian to play in the champions league in future um i think that that's the that's the dream um i have uh i just need to to work every day and hopefully uh, i'll be able to play in in the big leagues and you know uh, the, the, the year is busy in indian football also national team wise there is asian games which is of course under 23 even plus 3 seniors there is afc under 23 asia cup qualifiers coming up so do you think it is important for you to always come back and you know keep on playing for india to see that how much better you have got with your other peers you know by playing in europe and everything mate uh, and i'm always willing to come back to to help india uh, in the international tournaments um that i think everyone uh, it's a pleasure to represent your country um so i'm always willing to come back whenever they need me and help the national team a champions league is one side so but do you think that you know even to play the top european league top division league football is as important as playing champions league right because to play that league football at the professional level at the top division level it's like a, you know it's 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 the thing which changes player life oh uh, i agree i think um the the domestic league over here is really competitive even in the first team and in the U19 um and um the dream would be to to play in champions league hopefully sometime soon and and uh, whatever you're learning so i think it's also important that you come back and play for india regularly so there is afc 23 asia cup qualifiers later this year there's the asian games where under 23 team plays so you think it's important to come back in india and see that how much you have improved you know compared to the previous indian call ups um i think i when i came back for saf i definitely saw progress um i was able to play with guys much older than me um and for the upcoming tournaments i'm always willing to to come back to india and it's always an honor to play for the national team so i'm i'm ready to come back whenever the national team uh, needs me and and so you know uh, there's another goalkeeper gurpreet singh sandhu i think it was 2013 14 uh, the year period when he went to norway for these trials and you know uh, did that the, the did the hard part and eventually came as a better footballer better goalkeeper back in india now is india's number one so have you have you got a chance to you know read about or to know about his journey do you feel that you're on a similar path that hard journey you know staying in europe you know uh, uh, working hard to play different weather conditions also 
Um, yeah, I definitely look up to to Gurpreet, and I, I, not many people know about his uh, days in Norway, um, and I really um, relate to to the stuff that he said when he was playing in Norway, um, and uh, it is it is hard. The the weather really gets cold, um, but I hope to just stay just stay here and. No matter what, just try and give my best, um, and hopefully one day I'll be able to play play with Gurpreet sometime soon. So I also because there's a fresh India under 17 team who's played in the Asia Cup finals, you know, uh, under 17 levels. Uh, so I just also want you to send a message these two young players because they're similar uh, point in their life where they have two way to go, you know, uh, to go to Europe to try improve themselves or to sign for ISL. You know any message to them that they should take the decision very carefully right now because it's important junction of their life. Um, I think um they just need to look at what's going to help their their game and what's going to help them progress. Um, and accordingly, whatever the uh whatever offers they get, they should take the best call. Um, according to what they want. Um, and um, I actually watched the the AFC under seventeen and um. It was really unfortunate that they couldn't make it out of the group stages, but um, uh, I'm. It was really proud for all of us to to see what they did. And any any anything uh, any of the player, you know, did you like the goalkeeper Sahil? Who have, I think it was a good tournament. I was in Bangkok, by the way, but only did one mistake, which was the one goal which he conceded against Japan, but eventually came back better and uh, uh, saved that penalty. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I I also watched him and. He did a great job. Uh, uh, I'm goalkeeping is a really crucial position, and uh, there's no room for errors. And uh, especially for young goalkeepers, it's hard uh, to make the right decisions because we we aren't ex- we are not ex- um, we're not experienced. So I I he had a the the character that he showed um, from making a mistake and then coming back and saving penalties. And it wasn't just the penalties. I think he he stayed stable um, even after even after the mistake, which was uh, which really shows character. And uh, so also, you know, uh, any message for Indian football fans because they have been supporting you. You know, we all hope that it's best that you come out. But any messages for Indian football fans? Uh, um, I've actually uh, received a lot of support. Uh, these last few weeks and a lot of nice messages. So uh, I can't thank them enough. Um, it is hard uh, to stay away from home, and when I get these messages, it 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 keeps me going. Um, it really does. So I can't thank the the messages and the uh, from the fans. What they've done in the last few weeks is really amazing, and it really helps me. And you know, it's it's. When I speak about of you playing in Champions League, I know it's not just me or you. It's a dream of you know uh, I will say billions of Indians now, uh, you know 1.23 billion. So it's just our dream that uh, when the Champions League anthem going on and you know we see a Indian boy or Indian Indian player walking out from that you know tunnel with his club will be a dream come true for all of us. So I hope you keep working hard towards that your dream and it was a dream of India. you know and our support is with you so you know on that note i will say thank you very much for joining in uh, so uh, it was a, it was a pleasure to be here and uh, um I, i'll try my best and hopefully sometime soon uh, i'll be able to play in one of the big leagues okay okay uh, to our to our fans uh, to indian football fans or khelnao tv or khelnao fans you can listen to our podcast on all the top plat- top platform you know which includes spotify jio cinema gana amazon itunes google podcast and if you want to watch these podcast on a video form you can watch it on our kn now tv youtube channel where we have just crossed 1 million subscribers so thank you very much for tuning in